This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Meredith Barrick, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Thousands of people, including the president and vice president, will come to Indianapolis this week for the NRA's annual convention. Ahead of the meeting, businesses are preparing for an influx of out-of-towners who may be carrying concealed weapons. Some don't mind armed guests, but a few businesses downtown are already putting up signs saying they deny entry to anyone carrying a firearm. The group Moms Demand Action, which calls for gun control, passed out the signs so business owners knew their rights. You know, I talked to the staff, got kind of a general consensus, and we all agreed that we would like to put it up in the window, just, you know, at least for that week. The NRA convention begins this Thursday, and the president and vice president, along with a few other Republican politicians, will speak on Friday. Our Hiring Hoosiers initiative is all about connecting you with jobs. This week, we continue our look at the jobs of the future and detailing what skills will be required. Leo Aerospace was born on the Purdue campus. The company is testing the launch of micro satellites from hot air balloons. Once the satellites are in orbit, they can be used to help monitor crops, track herds, and assist with oil exploration. The goal is to create dozens of jobs by putting their engineering degrees to work. It's estimated 2,600 microsatellites will be needed in order to launch into space within the next five years. Leo Aerospace hopes to have the first vehicle in space next year. For more information on this project, head to HiringHoosiers.com. Todd. A cold front will make its way through central Indiana during the course of the day. So for many of you, especially northern locations, you'll have already hit your high temperature for the day today. So let's work our way throughout the afternoon hours. It's a very mild day for those of you to the south with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures climbing into the low to mid 70s, mid 60s to right around 70 degrees here in the metro area. But by 1:30 already temperatures falling into the 50s in northern locales. That cooler air works its way southward throughout the afternoon. Jump to 5 o'clock later on today, 50s to the north, 60s across most of the area, still some 70s down to the south. But if you do have plans this evening, just know everybody's temperatures will eventually fall into the 50s as we head into the 11 o'clock hour with even some 40s overnight in northern locales. Todd, thank you for more weather and stories you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.